Now hear this. This tricky test will show you if you're good or terrible at math. Well, let me save us all some time here. I stink at math. But for the rest of you, math puzzles are always a great way to determine your intellect and even improve your logic skills. Today, we prepared a new set of math riddles for you. Will you be able to find all the missing numbers in these challenges? Let's find out! Riddle number 1. Let's start with this puzzle. Can you guess what the missing number is? Try to come up with your answer in 15 seconds. There are no correct options here. It's either 0 or 16. This riddle has no pattern. The numbers are just jumbled up. We have every number from 1 to 15. So the only two that can be missing are 0 and 16. Riddle number 2. Take a look at these four rhombuses. In the last one, one of the numbers is missing. Can you figure out what this number is? You have 15 seconds. Okay, so in each rhombus, multiplying the top number by the bottom one gives us the numbers on the left and right. For instance, in the first rhombus, 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. And that's exactly the numbers on the left and right. The same thing works for the other rhombuses. So in the last one, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. We already have number 1 on the left, which means the correct answer is 2. And I don't think I've said rhombuses so many times since about the 8th grade. Riddle number 3. Here we have three circles, each divided into three parts, with numbers inside of them. Can you determine the pattern and figure out what the missing number is in the last circle? You have only 15 seconds. So, do you have your answer ready? Look at the numbers closely. Let's start with the numbers on top. The number 32 is 16 multiplied by 2, while 64 is 16 multiplied by 4. Let's see whether it will work for the left parts. 24 multiplied by 2 is 48, and multiplied by 4 is 96. Heh, <laughs> it works! So, to find the missing number, we should just multiply 13 by 4, which is 52. And that's the correct answer for you. Riddle number 4. One triangle has all its numbers in place. But other two miss the numbers on top. Can you guess them? Try to find the correct pattern and use it in 15 seconds. Let's start with the first triangle. How can we get 6? By adding 3 to 7 and subtracting 4. And this is the exact correct pattern. For the second triangle, it will be 4 plus 2 minus 2, which is 4. For the third one, 9 plus 5 minus 4 is 10. So if you guessed 4 and 10, congratulations, you got it right. Riddle number 5. Study the figure below. What number, in your opinion, is missing here? Time's a ticking. Well, the right answer is 30. Look at the other triangle. There's a number 90 in the middle. If you sum all of its corners, you'll get it. 50 plus 30 plus 10 equals 90, right? 
The same principle works for our triangle as well, because it also has 90 in the middle. So 90 minus 40 minus 20 is 30. Did you get it right? <laughs> Tell us in the comments below. Riddle number 6. This is how your next task looks like. As you can see, one of the numbers in the bottom arrow is missing. You know what to do. Ready or not, it's time to find out the answer. The number on the right in each arrow is the top number divided by 2 and multiplied by the bottom number. To make it a bit clearer, in the first arrow, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 multiplied by 18 is 36. The pattern is found. Now, let's use it for the arrow we need. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 44 divided by 4 is 11. And that's it. The right number on the bottom arrow is 11. Riddle number 7. Four lines of numbers. 37, 10, 82, 29, 11, 47, 96, 15, 87, 42, question mark, 15. So, what number should be in the place of the question mark? You have some time to think about it. 15 seconds, I think. Ready or not, here's an answer. The missing number is 6. The number in the middle of each line is the same as the digits of either end's number added together. So, for the first line, 3 plus 7 gives us 10, and 8 plus 2 equals 10 as well. That's why 10 is in the middle. So, let's apply the same principle for the last line. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 5 is also 6. There you have it. Riddle number 8. The next puzzle is waiting for you. What number is missing here? Test your skills once again. So this is the correct pattern for this puzzle. Check it with your numbers. The number at the bottom of each block is the sum of the top two numbers, first multiplied and then added to one another. Simply for the first block, it's 6 multiplied by 4, which is 24, plus 4 added to 6, which is 10. 24 plus 10 equals 34. Of course, this works for each block. So our number is 9 multiplied by 2, plus 2 added to 9. That's 18 plus 11, which is 29. Props to you if you found this solution. But we're moving along to your next challenge. Riddle number 9. Another puzzle you have to solve. Look carefully at this picture, Sherlock. Your task is simple. Try to find the missing number in 15 seconds. Well, I'm kind of lost. And you? Well, here's the right pattern and answer for this mystery. If you sum the numbers of each line, you'll get 15. For example, let's take the straight line in the middle. 9 plus 5 plus 1 is 15, right? This works for diagonal lines as well. The sum of 6, 5, and 4 is 15. 3, 5, and 7 gives us 15 as well. So the correct number here is 2. 8 plus 5 plus 2 is 15. Just what we need. Riddle number 10. 3, 12, 39, 120, and... What is the next number in this line? Let's see whether you can crack this puzzle.
The last number is 363, which is my age, thank you very much. The pattern for these numbers is multiplying the given number by 3 and then adding 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, and so on. 120 multiplied by 3 is 360. 360 plus 3 is 363. It's just that easy. Happy birthday to me! So, how many of these riddles did you get right? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay on the bright side of life with us. See you soon!